Welcome to the Live Monarch Foundation presentation, How to Fix a Butterfly Wing. Every so often you're going to run across a butterfly who has damaged its wings. Wings are designed to be quite symmetrical and in fact if you look from the side they fold and they fold you know quite evenly. Now a butterfly such as this which is a male monarch has lost a very good percentage of the top of one of his wings. Okay it's called a forewing. And what we would normally do, if, if the damage covers no more than I'd say 40% of the wing, you can line up the two wings, making sure everything else is out of the way, and you can cut off you know, the wings to match. However, this butterfly's lost a, a large amount of wing, and we do have some wings available, so we thought, to, you know, why not give him a new wing? To repair a butterfly with a significant damage to a wing or a missing wing is not that difficult, but will take a little bit of time and concentration. You're going to need at least 10 items. You're going to need a towel, you're going to need a wire hanger, toothpicks, an ear swab or a cotton swab, some extra wings just in case, your tweezers, some baby powder, uh, scissors, and contact adhesive. Now, you can make simple repairs with, um, you know, structural repairs with just a piece of cardboard. We use a double-sided cardboard so you can see which, which side is which. Now let's get started. First thing to do is to immobilize your patient. You basically grab them and we're in a dimly lit room that'll help keep them calm. Take your bent wire hanger and gently place it over the butterfly. Okay, gently extend their wings. Okay, and you can use your adhesive as a weight to hold everything down and in place. Now at this point, your butterfly is pretty much immobilized, but not definitely not hurt. Now if you can tell, this is the place where the wing is broken over on this side. Okay, and we're going to zoom in for you in a second. Now this break in his wing is, pretty, is really not too bad and very easy to fix. Primarily what you're going to do is you're just going to make a little piece of a, for a repair. You're going to take a piece of your cardstock, pretty much nothing larger than what you would need to um, bridge the gap, about that large. You're just going to grab it, make sure it's going to fit over the, over the repair site, but not burden them too much for flight. Okay, next thing you'll do is grab one of your toothpicks, and you'll only need one drop of glue, very, very little. And you want to gently put some glue on the um, repair paper. Okay, just enough to coat it. After you have that coated, grab another little tiny dab of glue and go over the part of the butterfly wings that needs the repair. Wipe off the additional glue. Take some of the additional glue off the edge of the wing and wait. It's going to take about three or four minutes for your butterfly, for the glue to set up and dry and we'll come back to that. Once your glue has dried and I use a piece of cardboard that's very thin and has one side dark and one side light so I can easily tell which side has the glue on, then you basically just move it over the middle of the crack or the line or the break in the wing. Make sure the wing is lined up perfectly and very carefully press your matching repair. Now at this point in time, since this is a pretty simple repair, you can actually let your butterfly up and he may be even stuck. Okay, so you want to grab him gently, pull him off once the repair has been made, there may be a little bit of extra glue lying around. So we always put a little tiny bit of powder on the area just in case so the glue won't have a place to stick 
on anything else. And he's done. Ready to go and fly free. Now that we've zoomed in so you can get a good view, we can see exactly what the damage is. More than 40% of this wing has, has disappeared, so it's not the best idea to cut the other one to match. It's actually a, in better interest for you to um, put a new wing on it. So go to your pile of wings, hopefully you've collected some, and find one that looks like it matches. And look, there's one. Looks like it matches perfectly. Now you're not going to need to use the entire wing, but what we like to do is find wings that match very closely and cut off some of the additional here. Okay? Now it's a, you have a nice clean cut. Overlay the other wing, see where that goes, then move it back just then slightly and cut that as well. At this point, once you have your new wing measured to fit over the old wing and have a slight overlap, see how it's, it's a slight overlap with the veins, so you have to push it towards it a little bit to match up. Then you want to take your glue, you want to take your wing and you want to flip it over. And you want to get a drop of glue. Just a little tiny bit is all you need. Very, very little. Okay. You don't want to even have a whole drip. And you want to gently go over the edge, the opposite edge, so when you turn it over it'll match. Okay. And be very careful because they're very delicate. And go over the same the opposite matching edge on your monarch wing, on your patient's wing. You really don't need very much glue, so as long as you have just a tiny little bit on there, that will do all you need for the make things stick together. Okay, because you are using a very powerful glue, every once in a while you want to go under things and make sure they're not sticking to the towel. So gently line it up and be very, very careful about how you line it up because this will totally affect how your monarch flies in the future. Okay, once you have it lined up seemingly perfectly, then you want to press down and match the, um, match the veins. Once you've matched the veins, you want to take some of your baby powder and sprinkle it on the repair. And that's to, just in case there's additional glue that hasn't yet dried, it will stop it from sticking to other parts of the butterfly and damaging your, your patient in flight. Okay. Take your butterfly, lift him up carefully. At this point you want to make sure you press from both sides the repair. Make sure that everything is moving, that there's nothing um, damaged or sticking anywhere that it's not supposed to. There's no wet glue in front of your patient. And you notice that he looks pretty much good as new. <laughs> 